<sighs> the, uh, well, the hype is real. If there's one thing you can count on in this world, it's that Google knows how to stir up a conversation with a Pixel launch. This time around, however, I think they've done more than that. They've just about nailed it. With that said, there's been a lot of noise surrounding the Pixel 9 series. You know, some deserved, some maybe not so much. And to those of you who've been waiting for Google to finally deliver on its Pixel promise, well, you are definitely in for a treat. And spoiler alert, it's, it's good. It's so freaking good. Don't believe me? Well, how about these guys? So I really like these new Pixel phones. Yeah, I like this phone a lot. Definitely skyrocketed to my favorite phone. And Pro XL is a fantastic device. Now, as you would imagine, I don't have a crew or, you know, deep pockets. What I do have is two things, my own experience and my own perspective. And this, my friends, is my take on the all new Google Pixel 9 Pro. Let's talk design first, because that's the first thing that grabs your attention. Google's gone and revamped the Pixel look for its ninth generation. At first glance, it's a departure, maybe a little too close to the iPhone for comfort, but hold it for a day and the design grows on you. Trust me, flat size usually stream discomfort, but somehow Google has given them just enough curvature to make it, dare I say, comfortable. The aluminum rails are shiny, almost like jewelry, but they've also got grip so you don't feel like the phone's about to slip out of your hands. Plus, so far it seems fingerprint resistant. A small win, but hey, who doesn't appreciate clean aesthetics? Now, a quick heads up, as sleek as this thing looks, I would advise that you keep this bad boy free from the inevitable dings and scratches that be coming its way by casing it up. It'd be a crime to scuff up something this clean. And still speaking of size, this phone is a behemoth. I mean, you definitely will feel it in your hands just as much as you will in your pocket. But with great size comes great power. And this battery, well, it's no slouch. A 5060 milliamp hour pack that would keep even the most hardcore user going from morning till way past midnight before looking for their charger. And if you are more of a casual user, you could definitely crack two days easy. Seems like Google finally figured it out. Still a Tensor G chip here, but excellent battery life, no overheating, no throttling, just smooth, reliable performance. Fast charging, however, I guess they're still working on that one because I wouldn't exactly call 37 watt fast. It certainly is quicker than last year's model, which is a great thing, but let's just say that you're definitely not setting any speed records here. While it's charging at 23 watt, well, yeah, I mean, it does get the job done, but groundbreaking, not really. Still, with everything else that this phone has to offer, I'm not complaining. Let's move on to display. As bright as the sun, enough to blind you, well, almost a whopping 3000 nits of peak brightness. To put it plainly, this thing is bright. Whether you are binge watching Netflix in bed or scrolling through TikTok in the midday, zero squinting. It's a 6.88 inch OLED with 120 hertz refresh rate. The result, a buttery smooth experience that makes even mundane tasks like swiping through your apps feel premium. Colors are punchy, blacks are deep, and for you media junkies out there, HDR content looks fantastic. But I wish Google had taken a page from Samsung's playbook and slapped on an anti-reflective coating. It's still usable outdoors though, but if you are used to Samsung's clarity and bright conditions, you will notice the difference here. Now, I can almost hear some of your thoughts out there going, what about performance? All right now, if we gotta do it, well, first let's address the elephant in the room, the Tensor G4 chip. Google's proprietary silicon has had a 
you know, rocky start in previous pixels, to say the least. The good news, this year, Google's ironed out all of the kinks. Sure, on paper, it's not the leading pack like Apple's A or M series chips, or even Qualcomm's latest flagship. But let me tell you, in real world use, the phone is super, and I truly mean this, super snappy. Apps launch super fast, multitasking is smooth, and even in more demanding apps and games, this phone still does really well. I do have to add though that if you are deep into graphically intense gaming, you are likely going to enjoy a slightly different experience compared to devices built to handle the highest level of gaming specifically. Right? That said, it is clear that Google chose to focus and lead the pack with artificial intelligence. And the Tensor G4's level of execution on AI-related features is, you know, unmatched. Whether it's the new Gemini Live Assistant or the eerily good magic editor in Google Photos, AI is working over time to make your life easier. And speaking of photos here, why don't we move on to cameras? Now, let me put it this way. Google is still leading the pack for still photography. The Pixel 9 Pro XL camera is a masterpiece. Google has been the go-to for computational photography for years, and with this iteration, they've once again upped that ante. The 50 megapixel sensor here delivers stunning details, especially in well-lit environments like this one. Colors are natural, textures are sharp, and that Google magic touch, it's still there. Night sight, as you would expect, is excellent, producing clean, usable images, even in near darkness. And then there is the 5X optical zoom. This is where the Pixel 9 Pro XL steps up to the plate. Shots at 5X are crisp. Even at 10X, Google's super res zoom is still killing it. Videos are impressive as well. Stabilization is pretty smooth and 8K video at 30 FPS is now part of the package. My take here, after just about a week with the Pixel 9 Pro XL, well, it's clear. This phone doesn't just belong in the top tier of Android flagships. It's swinging for the fences, challenging not only Apple's iPhone Pro Max, but also Samsung's Galaxy S Ultra line. And it's not just talk. It's actually walking the walk. I mean, look at what we have here. The design, premium. The camera, exceptional, and still the best for stills. The performance, maybe not the most powerful in the lineup, but it holds its ground where it counts. And the game changer, next level AI features, along with battery life as well. And with this said, here's to hoping that Google keeps this up. They certainly made very little compromises so far. Anyways, I've also reviewed the regular Pixel 9. You should check out that video. I also did review the all new 9 Pro Fold, Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Make sure to check out that video as well. Don't forget, of course, to like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I appreciate that. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section. I'm also gonna catch you in the next video. Up until that next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.